I am Santosh Vyadankar. I am solving the model question paper 2, Design of Machine Element 2, June 2018, Model 2, 3A question. This is a 3A question. A 10 mm thickness, T is nothing but 10 mm the argument. And A1 is the argument, width is the argument, 120 mm width. A flat is required to transmit a power. Uh, transmit power from the pulley of 120 mm diameter. D1 is given. D1 is the thing, but D is the thing, but 120 mm they have given it. Running at 720 rpm, N1 they have given it. Another N2 they have given it. 240 rpm. Allowable stress sigma D or sigma 1, 2 megapascal they have given it. Coefficient of friction mu is given, therefore you have to use as a theta s 0.33. They are given it. Central distance c is nothing but 1.6 into 1000. We will get 1600 mm. Central distance they are given it. Find the safe power that can be transmitted. Means you have to find out the power. It is very easy power. Same formula you can use it. The formula is nothing but from the data in book a1t is equal to 1000 p divided by v sigma t minus w divided by g v square into 10 raised to minus 6 into k this is the formula i am using from the data in book w if they are not given you have to use as 10 into 10 raised to 3 newton per mm assume this is for the leather specific fit now everything they have given it just substitute it a is given t is given velocity we have to find out velocity five we have to find out in the upper apart from this one k we have to find out first we are going to find out velocity v is equal to pi d and d1 plus t because it is a flat therefore we have to consider the thickness here if it is a v you have to neglect the thickness uh, n1 and you have the 60,000 pi D1 is nothing but uh, D1 is nothing but 120 plus 10 into N1 is nothing but 720 divided by 60,000. The answer will be 4.90 meter per second. Once you know this one, once you know this one, what we required? K we required. What is the K? K is equal to e raised to new theta. Yes. If the single mu is there, you have to consider theta s minus 1 divided by e raised to mu theta s. That means we have to find out theta s. Theta s is nothing but pi minus 2 sin inverse d by d divided by 2c into pi by 1. If you are keeping the uh, calculated in terms of d, you have to multiply by pi by 1. If it is in radian, don't multiply by pi by 1. Pi minus 2 sin inverse capital D is a thing but 360 minus 120 divided by 2 into 1600 1600 into pi by 180 first you have to multiply this one then deduct this one you will get the answer 2.99 1 radian per second sorry radian sorry not per second radian it has once you get theta s, substitute here, e raised to mu, theta s, mu is nothing but 0.33, theta is 2.991, the answer will be 2.683, the k is equal to 2.683 minus 1 divided by 2.683, 0.6272, the k you got it, and, and substitute here, Everything is done. A is nothing but 120. 120 into 10 is equal to 1000 into P. We have to find out. Velocity is already known 4.90. Sigma D is 2 minus W is 10 into 10 raised to 3. And 9.8066. Velocity is again 4.90 whole square into 10 raised to minus 6 k value will be 0 0.6272 0 
six two seven two. If you calculate the answer, will be P is equal to seven point two eight kilowatt. Two eight kilowatt. I am Satish Gajankar. Thank you very much.